All right, back in the studio now with Alex Mary. She is Museum Director of Historic Auto Attractions out in Roscoe. Good morning, Alex. Good morning. So tell us what this place is. If you haven't been, it's pretty impressive. Oh, it is unbelievable. My first time walking in, I was shocked with the amount of artifacts, cars, different displays that are in there. He has over 25 different um, exhibit focuses that you can look at. So there's something for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, in, um, including the Hall of Presidents. We have Gangsterland, which is a huge favorite. Mm. Um, we have one of the largest John F. Kennedy exhibits um, wow. next to the Smithsonian, of course. Sure. But yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff. And so this started with a man basically wanting to collect artifacts and it's grown, correct? Yes, so he started collecting in 2001. Mm -hmm. Or I'm sorry, he opened the museum in 2001. He didn't start collecting um, he, his first collection piece was in 1995. It was oh, wow. Howard Hughes's car. Mm. He saw everyone loved it. All of his friends and family wanted to visit it. He was like, okay, I'm going to start collecting more cars. Mm -hmm. Then his love for history kind of took over. <laughs> and then it started with um, Abraham Lincoln. We are in the land of the Lincoln. Mm -hmm. um, John F. Kennedy, it's his one of his favorite presidents. Mm -hmm. He is... Um, very patriotic, so he has a very large exhibit just dedicated to all of the presidents, their first ladies. He has um, White House furniture and artifacts, mm -hmm. which has a really cool story behind it. Mrs. Kennedy, she put a whole stop to the throwing out of furniture. They used to wow. empty out the White House. Oh, wow. And the first lady would come in and redecorate to her style, and she was like, no, no, <laughs> this is history. This is real, like, stuff. So yeah. we have some of those, those pieces as well from Truman. Roosevelt. So I understand there is a Secret Service vehicle from JFK's time as presidency. What are some of the other highlights? I know you mentioned the furniture. Yep, so we have a ton of different things that people are going to love. Something that catches people people's eyes is the um, Nicolas Cage, if anyone's seen National Treasure. Mm -hmm. We have those glasses. So it's not just cars. It's not just cars. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we have, um, actually in our gangster land, we have a little serial killer section, which is huge right now mm -hmm. with Netflix coming out with all those awesome documentaries. Sure. We have um, some pieces from John Wayne Gacy. Mm -hmm. We have um, some signatures from Son of Sam, Marilyn, um, Marilyn Manson. So a few different pieces that people can look at. We have a bullet, uh, bulletproof vest from John Dillinger too. So is this set up, is it set up in his home? Is it a museum itself? How does that work? So it's a museum itself. Mm -hmm. He started out with around 30,000 square feet and he actually just added on an additional 56,000 square feet oh, wow. a couple years ago. Okay. <laughs> so um, we have a very, very large museum that can fit a lot of people. A lot of people actually spend family reunions with us. They'll mm -hmm. travel from all over and go through the museum, spend three to four hours, and then go to Jessica's for lunch. All right, so if people <laughs> want to visit, I mean, it's in Roscoe, how do people yeah. find it? So it's right off a of metric road. The best way to um, look us up is just go to our website at historicautoattractions.com. We are on Facebook, though. Mm -hmm. um, it's tucked back in Roscoe, but once you find it, you're, you're gonna be blown away. And I understand you also have some events going on this summer, too. Yeah, so we have cruise nights. Every second Wednesday of mm. um, the month, we're going to have, um, we have hundreds of cars come out. Classic cars, muscle cars. And then we have um, Joe Locke, who is our DJ, um, Windsor Pizza, and we actually have Batches Barbecue. Mm. They're so good. <laughs> Blew my mind. Um, and then we also have discount days going throughout the summer. So in July, every Wednesday, we're going to take $10 off of every everyone's admission. All right. So if you're the museum director, do you know of any like sneak peek special pieces that are coming in soon? I do. So um, we actually have divulge a- Divulge your secrets? <laughs> I'm going to divulge two. <laughs> okay. Two. Um, we have some um, replicas coming in, um, in display, um, I want to say in the next few months. Um, it's going to be in the war room and um, by the Germany area. Um, I'm not going to go too much into what they are. All right. But we also know that the Rockford Speedway just closed. Sure. Lots of stuff up for auction right now. A lot of stuff up for auction, and we definitely got our little paws on some of those. So you'll nice. see some of Rockford Speedway memorabilia in historic auto attractions. So you've worked at other museums in the past. What makes working here unique? Honestly, the, the people make the experience so much better. The sure. owner, Wayne Lensing, um, has really let me spread my wings and do anything and everything I can to make this museum 
known throughout the community, throughout, he wants it throughout the world. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll start with, <laughs> we'll start with the community. Yeah. But, um, I mean, I have never had a work experience like this, and I'm so honored that they have me with them. So if people want to purchase tickets, do they need to go online and register ahead of time? Can they purchase them at the door? How does that work? No pre-registration necessary. Um, you can just walk on in and purchase tickets right at the door. And I th adults are $28, but you have some other prices for seniors and kids. Too. We do. Yep. Okay. Uh, seniors and military, we have 23 and then any kiddos from 7 to 17 are $17. Anyone under 6 is free. All right, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Historic Auto Attractions dot com and Aaron has been out there live before and even just seeing it through the TV <laughs> I've been pretty impressed so be sure to check it out thank you so much Alex yeah thank you we'll be right back